every step Chloe Angus takes is a moment of joy. This feels so good. Angus is a paraplegic. While on a run in 2015, her back started aching, followed by tingling in her toes. Doctors found an inoperable tumour in her spine. It had pinched off the nerves below my waist and I was going to be paralysed for the rest of my life. They said I would never walk again. Numerous Google searches put her in touch with Dr Siamak Azampour at Simon Fraser University. He and his business partner were developing a state-of-the-art exoskeleton. In our exoskeleton, we covered all the ranges of motions and degrees of freedom that a user needs for um, doing all those complex manoeuvres. Controlled by a handheld device, the robot can be instructed to turn on the spot, walk side to side, backwards. How do you like those act? <laughs> it can even let Angus dance. This is me. So the machine follows the motion of my body through a series of sensors and it detects um, what I want to do. Since joining the team at Human in Motion Robotics, Angus has travelled the world showcasing the exoskeleton, saying it makes her feel like her old self. The day that I stood up and I walked across our lab and my husband happened to come around the corner to see me that day and I walked up to him and I gave him a big hug and, and I just said, honey, <laughs> I'm back. A rehab clinic trial is starting soon in Toronto and it's hoped that will lead to Health Canada approval. The exoskeleton could be on the market late next year or early 2025. We are going to prove the safety uh, in the rehab setting, which is a controlled environment. And then after we gathered enough data, we are going to start uh, building our uh, personal use. The team's goal is for users like Angus to be able to walk independently everywhere. I can't wait to have an exoskeleton under my Christmas tree. <laughs> Alyssa Thibault, Global News.